All right, this is the swing groove. talk about the most basic version we're not going to play a lot of that extra stuff but getting you to start the swing groove and play it in its most basic principles now the most important thing breaking this well first of all before we get into this this is used in a ton of music especially from the 30s and 40s um, and even later uh, two great a couple great songs to really listen to one is moaning by art blakey this song is a great example of this uh, just grooving hard and another example is a uh, one o'clock jump uh, by the Count Basie Big Band. Those are great examples just to listen to to kind of get the feel and really hear this style. Especially the part I'm gonna talk about here which is the ride cymbal. So the ride cymbal is everything in this groove. And you'll, you can spend a lot of time just mastering this, but basically what you're gonna do is you play this rhythm. It's, a t it's one single note, then an accent, and then you're gonna let the next two notes fall. So listening to it goes like this. It's tap, you want to go ahead and add the hi-hat to accentuate even more that second beat, right? And you'll notice when I'm playing this, I'm still accentuating that second beat. So it sounds like this. And the last thing is we want to feather that bass drum, right? Which feathering the bass drum means that we're going to play it, play it super lightly, right? Very gently right against that, uh, that hi-hat part and against that ride cymbal part. So let's listen to that real quick. So just playing that feathered bass drum, very light, because at the time the, the bass drum was not played very heavily. In fact, the bass drums were very different than our modern bass drums. They were much larger, much thinner. But anyways, so right here, we'll listen to this, playing with the ride cymbal. Then isolated just the bass drum and the hi-hat. Together, all of it. All right, and the last thing to talk about, a little pro tip on this, is you'll notice when I was playing the hi-hat, it wasn't light. I was actually digging really heavy in the hi-hat because most, this music is used for dance music, especially in the 30s and 40s, and people want to hear that two and four. They want to feel one, two, three, four, a one, two, Three, four, a one. Three, four, a one. Two, three, four, three, four, three. So you want to really dig into that hi hat. And the last thing, I know this is the very basics of jazz. When we're really playing jazz, it's. Like... But the thing is, this basic rhythm that we just played, this is where every jazz drummer starts. So just start with this. Later, in other lessons, we can learn some of those other concepts.